Welcome back to the Conference USA Showcase. Well, Ron, we talked about our mid-season awards, yep. and now we've got to throw basketball into the mix. Conference USA Basketball Media Day wrapping up last week. You had a chance to sit down with all of our coaches, kind of give us a feel of what, uh, what they were saying. Exciting, because it's a wide open race. You look at Southern Miss and UTEP, they're going to be strong again this year. But then some of the new faces, you got Middle Tennessee. Kermit Davis took his team to the NCAA tournament last year. Allen Major of Charlotte, 21 wins last season. And one of the surprises for me, Louisiana Tech. Michael White, a young coach, has this team on the upward swing. But the surprise overall, Tom Harriet and Marshall, keep an eye on them. Well, I think most people would say if you lose Memphis or when we lost Memphis, the league would be weakened a little bit. I'm, I, I think the exact opposite of that. When you think about programs coming into the league, like Middle Tennessee State, who was an at-large team, Charlotte was an NIT team, Louisiana Tech was an NIT team, Old Dominion year in and year out has been a very good basketball school. Those are all good opponents, good programs coming into our league. So I think top to bottom, the league is going to be as good as it's been. People in El Paso are very sophisticated basketball fans. They've watched great basketball teams going back to 1961. And they, they, they learn to appreciate teams playing hard, uh, players diving on the floor after loose balls, people sharing the ball through watching Don Haskins' great teams. And uh, because of the national title in 66, uh, grandfathers have passed it down to fathers. Fathers have passed it down to, to their sons. And uh, we have a town that loves basketball, and they're going to support it. They're going to be there. Uh, they're going to be loud. They're going to be vocal. And, uh, and I think that uh, people coming from uh, other parts of the country, uh, people, great supporters of Middle Tennessee State and UAB and Florida Atlantic International, Charlotte Old Dominion, uh, they're going to have their eyes open to what great basketball uh, can be uh, and what a great venue this will be. Well, Ron, let's switch to the women's side. A mm -hmm. lot of excitement there as well. It's a wide open race, and we're adding some very competitive teams this year. I tell you, one of the competitive teams I like that's coming to Conference USA, FIU, Cindy Russo, their head coach, 689 career wins coming into the season. She's got Jerrica Coley coming back this season. All Jerrica did last year was average over 26 points a game, led the nation in scoring, was an AP honorable mention, All-American. They're going to be strong. Middle Tennessee State was picked to win the conference, but keep an eye on UTEP. Keitha Adams did an incredible job coaching last season. Three ACL injuries. They're healthy this year. They're going to be strong. You know, we know that uh, our conference is going to be an extremely challenging conference, and we're going to have to be ready to play every night out. But we do understand uh, how big this conference is. We do understand what we must bring uh, day in, day out. Uh, it's a grind. 